CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 186 through 190. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 186. A technician is tasked with expanding the amount of RAM accessible in a virtual machine environment. What action should the technician take to accomplish this? The answer is D. Use the hypervisor to modify the allocation of resources. In a virtual machine environment, RAM allocation is managed through the hypervisor, which is the virtualization software layer that creates and runs virtual machines. By accessing the hypervisor's settings, the technician can adjust the amount of RAM allocated to a specific virtual machine. This action directly changes the virtual machine's resource limits, allowing the technician to increase the RAM available to the virtual workstation. Question 187. An individual is experiencing an issue where their monitor, keyboard, mouse, and headset have all stopped working. Despite restarting the laptop and trying a different headset and monitor, the problem remains. A technician observes that a printer, a USB-C hub, and an AC adapter are all connected to the laptop. Which of the following actions will most likely resolve the issue? The answer is C. Replace the USB-C hub. The malfunction of multiple peripherals simultaneously points towards a common connection issue, likely the USB-C hub. Since the problem persists even after restarting the laptop and using alternative devices, the hub, serving as the central connection point for all these peripherals, emerges as the probable cause of failure. Replacing it could resolve the connectivity issue as a defective hub can disrupt the operation of any devices connected through it. Question 188. In the context of virtualization technologies, which option enables the simultaneous operation of both Linux and Windows operating systems on the same hardware? The answer is D. Cross-platform. The term cross-platform refers to virtualization technology that is designed to support and manage different operating systems on the same physical machine. This allows for environments like Linux and Windows to run concurrently, providing the flexibility to operate multiple systems in parallel without the need for dual booting or separate hardware. This technology is essential for scenarios requiring simultaneous access to applications and services across different operating systems. Question 189. After a service technician installed a new gateway, a user finds themselves unable to connect to the Sogo Wi-Fi network. What action should the technician perform next to troubleshoot this connectivity problem? The answer is D. Verify the password and SSID are correct. After the installation of a new gateway, connectivity issues often arise from configuration discrepancies, ensuring that the network credentials a user is attempting to connect with match the newly established or existing network settings is a fundamental troubleshooting step. This process includes confirming that the network name, also referred to as the SSID, and password entered on the user's device align with those set on the new gateway, as any mismatch here would prevent access to the Wi-Fi network. Question 190. A client has reported that their smartphone screen shows discoloration in various spots. What is the component within the smartphone that is most likely responsible for these screen issues? The answer is C, liquid crystal display. The liquid crystal display, or LCD, is the component that directly generates the images seen on a phone's screen. 
Discoloration typically indicates a problem with the display itself, such as damaged pixels or issues with the liquid crystals that create the images. This type of problem is inherent to the display technology. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.